Welcome back, dudes, to my crazy redstone world that just has some random stuff on it that you might understand, you may not understand. It's hard telling, because I'm not sure how capable you guys are of redstone. Neither of these designs work as of now. This is the, this one works a little bit better. Well, I messed something up with this piston, don't know why. This one works okay, so let me just show you what these do real quick before we get started into the today's episode so um yeah it's basically just a three by three door that's supposed to open and it doesn't quite work so yeah but it does reset itself normally forget that i say anything okay then we have our other door which does actually reset itself at least I'm pretty sure it does. But this is a the cauldrons are just used to supposedly be secret. Basically, my only problem is um that doesn't pull back and stay back. I'm not sure why. If you guys could tell me why, that would be amazing. Just so I can finish up this design and get it to work. Because now I'll pull back, this will pull the blocks back, and it'll just be basically a smooth hallway except for that redstone block. And then two blocks right there. And, of course, right there. But, other than that, that would be pretty amazing if you guys could tell me. But it does reset itself. Which I think is really cool. Other than the one piston in here that just gets stuck. That I don't know how to fix. I'm going to be looking into that pretty soon. Okay. But the main reason I made this video, or I'm making this video, so I'll show you guys some stuff with cauldrons. We're 1.12, so there's a lot of fairly new stuff. And you can fill up a cauldron with, uh... Okay, you can not put lava in it. Never mind. Didn't know if that would work. But you can fill up a cauldron with water. All of you know, you can do that. And you can use this like a sink or something. Is this lava not going to go away? Okay, there we go. So you guys don't normally just put, like... That and then get a lever. And just say, hey, it's a sink. You're able to do much better than that. It can be more than just a sink. It can be, I don't know, trap door. Just take this, put that there. The only problem is it only gives a three block signal. So you have to put that on there. And say this is your wall. You can't see the comparator behind the cauldron unless you look really closely and you like take down and everything. It's not easy. And if you do that, you can see it. But no one's ever going to see it. So I mean, you just have your nice little setup. And you're like, wait. I'm going to go my secret lair. Of course, you'd have to add a second layer of pistons, like, right there, and then you just have a block right there, and there, and there, and there, and there, and there, and there. But then you'd just be stepping over your redstone all the time, so, yeah. But what you do is you just, like, back secret layer time. change that. So it's your time. Walk back here. Even though you used to walk over your redstone. You can still back to your, go back to your secret lair. And then maybe just like fill it up from right here. Oh no. No. But you can fill it from the back. Oh it was very cool. That's why. But you can fill it from the back. You just have to remember which Thing it's on and then you can have it closed and you know what I mean basically I'd hope I'm back and just set this up real quick and that was there 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 okay so now I get you can show you guys so you got your 
And there's a little secret layer back there, so you take that off, and you're like, oh, secret layer time. So you throw some water in there. Yeah, no, it doesn't work first time with this piston. But you can do that, and you do that, and that works. Now you're in your secret layer. No one knows you're here. They're just confused. It's like, where did you go? What, what happened to him? So yeah. The best thing with this is you can take some, uh, you know, leaves. Throw them on top. No one can see the inside. No one can tell if, if it's full or not. Let's say I got two of these different ones. You can set up a passcode lock with these. This one doesn't have anything in it. It's off. Doesn't do anything. So, yeah, that's one way to use them. And another way to use them is if you take piston there. Piston there. Right, the gate cauldron. Block there. And this. Because, um, see, it goes through the block. Like any other redstone signal, it'll go through most blocks. I think it, I don't know if there are any, it cannot go through. But it can go through most. So what you do from there, just have a nice little repeater. And it's just it's a nice little constant loop. Go on forever, and ever, and ever, and ever, and ever. Let's turn that down. Then if you want to really annoy people, this is how you do it. Like that. Are you annoyed yet? 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 Please don't Yeah, that's just the most annoying thing you can possibly do. And you can hide this very easily. I mean, look how small it is. There, if you want to do something a little bit better, we just set one of them up. Set that up right there. You go. Ah, I didn't click that. No. You can do it with a button, or not with a button. You can do it with a lever or or support. Just the, just the easiest for me. You can do this. On some servers, this quits eventually, though, because of lag reasons. But just to annoy people, this works the best. Okay. But I'm going to show you how these things can be used in the buildings, other than just like secret doors and stuff like that. Okay. Over here, I have done just that. I have used all of these. I've used cauldrons in this design. It didn't quite work, but I know you can make it work, and it's just that I didn't do it right, although there are ways to do it better. So yes, this cauldron is just a secret door entrance, that's all it does. But then you go up here, and I thought I had cauldrons in this, but I'm not sure if I do anymore. It's in this one. Yeah, it's in this one, never mind. So what it does is, um, for this one right here, yeah, what I have is this piston right here. We'll get a signal at the beginning when there is water in it. So I take the uh, water, throw it in here. Let's hold and shift again, so that's really annoying. Okay, so now it's doing the equivalent of it being on, so um, yeah, that's working. Just doing the equivalent of it being on right now, so it don't really matter. I think. But anyway, what that did is it, um... Yeah, this is really annoying me. Let me fix this. Oh, not that one. Okay, now this is how it's supposed to go. So I have to put the water in there. And what happened up here is it sent the redstone signal along this path up to here to turn on this piston, which is the one that pushed down the redstone block. And when that gets pushed down, or when this thing receives a signal, it also sends a signal over to this one, which has a cauldron full of water. So it just pushes down a block, you know, like all pistons can do. And it 
lets the signal through to the comparator, which goes all the way around through here, and up through here, and over here, around through here again. Hit this piston, cuts off the signal to this piston, so it pulls out the redstone block to... What I was trying to do is get this to turn off, but um, it don't work for some reason, which I would like you guys to tell me why, and um, maybe it's just a bug, I'm not sure. But then also, that's what that part did. And then it also would send a signal up through here, down here, around there, to this piston. I cut off this signal, that was going up to that piston right there. So this has no more signal, and hope to pull it back, but it didn't pull it back. Now, all I need to do if, to finish it is if that redstone block worked and that piston worked, is put another one right here, do exactly the same thing, just a little bit more delayed probably, and pull all them back into a flush nice wall. So my theory is correct, it's just, it don't work. And now that one's not going in. Piece of missing. That's what I'm missing. Uh, there. Now it's all gonna work. So that's why that don't work. And is there any other redstone I, I need to show you guys? That I've learned recently and I like to use. I think there is one. So observer, I encountered this one's making a millen farm. You know, I'm making a millen farm. I mean, the observer's a new block. Honestly, would that work well for a millen farm? It's like, yeah, because when millen grows, this is a block update machine. It'll tell you that there's been a block placed there, and it gives you this redstone signal. See? So then I was like, yeah, now let's put a piston in there to break break the block. Like any other thing. So, um, place on the block just to imitate the mill growing. And, problem occurred. Good and bad. One is an infinite loop. But, uh, yeah. It doesn't work with melons. Actually, it The reason this would not work with millens is because um, if this did push the millen away, so let's just say that the piston's right there just to push the millen by itself. I'll have a boy connected that to it. It does the same thing. And I don't know how to stop it. Unless I had like, unless I did this. Let's just say I put myself sitting there. And then it smashes the mill against it. Stop it. Yeah, it don't work because it just keeps on going. And there'd be no chance for building to grow again. Yeah. Also, one quick thing I want to say is I'm sorry about um earlier when the last video I uploaded, not earlier necessarily, but on that video I uh, went to oh yes yeah, at the very beginning. I don't know if you guys really cared or not, but I seen it as annoying at the, at the very beginning. Just when did that? But it's because I'm paranoid that I won't be recorded. And, yeah. Like this. It says, still recording there. And earlier, or a couple days ago, it didn't record. And that took like an hour to record. So, yeah. That's the only reason that I didn't exactly just go straight into it. But, yeah. Oh, almost forgot. There's one super amazing thing that you can do with rails and pistons. So say you're just going along your way. And there's this piston here. 
and say there's no track. So if you guys are roller coaster builders or something, keep me in mind one of this. You can push a thing. So if you have a detector rail, say right there, and you take it right there, and you got some red stones that I do not want to throw at. So you got a minecart just rolling on, along the track like no cares in the world. Get some speed up. Yep. So it's like, ah, there's a break in the track. It don't work. So what you have to do? You take a little thing. I was expecting that to work actually. I'll say two. So all you really do is get the timing right for your speed. I'll push you when you're on it. And just make sure it's actually possible. Almost. So maybe what we have to do is this. Or like that. That would work anyway though. It wants to bounce you back almost. That's weird. I thought this would work. Oh, there it went. So let me just... You know, this. So we have another rail right there. So I can't be right. Well, let's get a torch real quick. I guess I could use that lever. So it looks like it's just a uh, one click. Yeah, see? All the way. That's pretty sweet, ain't it? And best part is it pulls it back with it. So you can have like this long drop off with lava and everything and scare everyone and roller coaster and everything. And you're just like, nope. And get saved. A beautiful way to end it. Saving everyone's life. And if you guys don't know about the most compact way to roller coaster, it's like this. What you do is that, that, that. that. So, yeah, I will see you guys next time. Like if you liked, subscribe, and don't think I built this right. So, see y'all.